there's a rumor that's going around that on the first day, in and around the first day of 2020, you approached another executive who was wearing a tie and you cut his tie off to indicate that the culture needed to change. Is that true? It wasn't on the first day, but we definitely changed the dress code several months um, pre-2020. So a um, little- Did you take the scissors? Off. Oh, we did the scissors. Oh, I cut my dad's tie off. Ah. Yes. So I cut my dad's tie off in front of the entire HR team. So we have national meetings that we bring groups of people together and our HR team obviously leads a lot of these policies and we continue to listen to our employees. And one of them was the coat and tie um, probably needed a update. And so everyone wanted to take the ties off. And so we thought long and hard um, and we said, okay, let's do it. And so I thought there's no better way to do this than cut off Andy's tie. Why not? And everybody went crazy. So you grabbed a pair of scissors. You walked over to Andy who had no idea that this was going to happen. And I cut his tie off. <laughs> he did know. So those are one of the things that we, so this goes back to a family. Um, this is tied back to the family. So I did talk to my dad. Those are one of those things, no surprises. He didn't know I was cutting his tie off, but no surprises on the dress code because Jack is in, was an incredibly charming professional person. And he wanted to make sure that he represented himself well. He liked to dress up. And he thought that was the expectation of a customer, that he was well presented and the customer would not only like him for him, but also want to do business with him because he looked professional and was dressing. And so that coat and tie was actually something cultural that the family wanted and that the business, it was different than everyone else having that coat and tie. But Again, keep an open mind. Times change. We know that there is more casual dress. We know that some of the work that our team does is physical. And so we changed it, but we still want to be presentable and professional, but give our employees some leeway to express themselves the way that they see, you know, they want to do that. So the, that, the dress code thing is a family thing and a little bit of a cultural nuance for us, but it's gone. We cut the tie. <laughs> the tie you cut the ties to the past on that one that's right no we respect the past and use it for the future yeah well <laughs> and in fact mary barra you know has a phrase dress appropriately right yeah. and that's and that's how general motors and and the ford guys started going to blue jeans 10 years ago if yeah. not longer well in the last 14 months has changed everything yeah so yeah now it's the lulu culture that's right. um <laughs> 